welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a weekend vlog it's sunday january 5th what do we have going on today we as in my husband and i is going to set up our new baby camera we got the nest camera that he insisted on that we needed so apparently they were having a good deal we've got our daughter peyton if you're new here is 17 months old <coughs> here they are it's 17 months old and we've gone through two baby monitors. So Jeff thought we should just make the investment and get the Nest cameras. We have the Nest thermostat and the doorbell ringer. So we just thought, or he thought it would be easier just to keep everything consistent and like in one app, which I, I agree with. Um, we were hoping to get that done today. Yesterday was kind of a wash for us because Jeff came down with like either the 24 hour flu or some sort of stomach bug. So we quarantined him to the second floor and um, we really didn't get much accomplished, which is okay. Um, but besides that, Jeff and I are gonna go to our new house so we can film a unfinished house tour, which I've promised and mentioned that we, or I would do at some point. So I'm excited to get that recorded and up and plus just for us to document, I guess for memory's sake. And then we're going on a date, which I'm really looking forward to. There's this place by us, if you're in like the Metro Charlotte area called um, Boatyard Eats, that we've driven past multiple times and we've always said that we wanted to go to and then um, we've just never, I guess, had the opportunity to. So we're gonna go on a little afternoon date after we go to the new house. Um, Peyton is, I think, playing around with the docketot. Excuse you, what are you doing? Can you, that's the sound machine. Can you put that down? Yeah, sound machine. Can you say hi? Hi, munchkin. So, hi. Do you wanna show them your kitchen? Oh, don't touch the lens. We, um, so obviously Christmas was just a couple weeks ago. She got a little play kitchen for Christmas and she loves it. She also loves her brother's docketot that she did not sleep in when she was a baby. If you're wondering why the heck there's a docketot in our master closet, it's because um, I'm not ready for Calvin to go in his nursery yet. Nursery, like I said, if you're new, we're moving. So he really doesn't have like a full setup nursery with like blackout curtains and everything. I don't feel comfortable putting him in here in there yet. And he grunts all the time when he sleeps and Jeff and I just can't sleep through it. So we put him in our master closet with the docket tot on the floor. We have the sound machine and the baby camera hooked to our um, shoe racks, which actually the master closet is a great place for him to sleep because it's super dark. Um, the sound machine, like the acoustics in there are really great so I don't know if I'm get, going to get any shade for putting my child in the master closet to sleep but it's safe I promise you that and it's allowing not only us to sleep but baby to sleep um, and he's sleeping like five to six hour chunks at a time for the most part at night which has been really really great he is six weeks this past Friday here's little man he loves his swing. The swing is probably one of my favorite like baby items. He sleeps in it all day long for the most part. <coughs> no issues. Peyton slept in it a lot too when she was his age, probably till about like what, five months mm -hmm. she slept in it. Um, and then we ended up moving. So we kind of just packed it away. She probably would have slept in it longer, but she definitely was getting big for it. I guess a quick little like baby update on him he had his one month checkup this past week sorry for the weird lighting and he has gained quite a few pounds he's up to 11 pounds now he was born at 7 1 so he's been gaining a good amount of weight breastfeeding like a champ like i said sleeping really good the only i guess concern or thing that we need to like look into further is that he's still a little bit jaundiced so our doctor ordered a billy rubin test so we have to do that at some point this week. He said it's not urgent, but he just wants to check on it to make sure there's like no underlining concerns. So I'm assuming they'll just like do some sort of like prick to draw blood. A heel stick. A heel stick. So I'm not really looking forward to that. Seeing your baby, hearing your baby cry is like the most heart wrenching thing ever. 
Hey, what you playing with? Was that Leo? She is a stuffed animal lover. She loves them. We call them her babies and her friends. What are you doing? So what do you think the plan is? For what? The rest of the afternoon, like when you want to set up the nest and things. Oh, I'll set up, I'm going to find some football and then I'll set up the nest and then we'll go to the house. <clears throat> football Sunday. We can't really escape it. No, nope. we got another month. <sighs> we are Detroit Lions fans, which is very unfortunate for us. But uh, are you excited for Football Sunday? She looks pretty excited. Jeff is a big um, fantasy football lover. How many leagues are you in this year? Five. Five. What's how many did you do last year? Or the year before? I feel like it was like ten. No. It feels like much more. Oh, so I'm getting new glasses because my eyes have changed postpartum. This same thing happened um, after I had Peyton. I really like Warby Parker glasses. I used them the last round when I had to get new glasses. So I went to the store when I was in Michigan for the holidays to try on a few, and I had them sent to our house just so I could like try them out. So if you're unfamiliar with Warby Parker, this is not sponsored in any way. You can go on their website and pick out five glasses and they send them to your home to test out for five days. It's free, like shipping both ways. And then when you're ready, you can place your order online. It's $95 for the frames and the lenses if you get like the basic pair, I guess. So I'm deciding between two different frames. I want you to vote which ones you like better. I'm debating between these two, so I'll leave a poll in the corner, and I also want Jeff's opinion because he hasn't seen them yet. First pair, I think, is called the Hughes. Hughes, H-U-G-H-E-S. <coughs> these ones? Okay. I feel like I always do squares, and the glare is really bad on these right now. And then there's these ones, which are called the Percy's. Or oh, there's these ones. What? We got ones back in. My BFF likes these ones. I like the square better. It's weird because I've been trying them on and off for like the past day or two. And I feel like I like these ones better when I have makeup on. And then I like these better when I don't have makeup on. I don't know why that would make a difference. So let me do better lighting so you guys can vote which ones you like best. Okay, so there's these ones which are called the Hues. And they both, they're the same exact coloring, like the frame is the same color. I think it's called Crystal Chestnut or Chestnut Crystal or something like that. And then there's these ones, which are the Percy's, the round ones. I feel like they make my nose look really big. So vote in the poll which ones you like best. And I do clap a lot in uh, my videos and I did get a comment saying that it was really annoying. So cheers to them for the shade. They're not white though. It's supposed to be white? <laughs> you know my aesthetics. They're cool. So you can mount it to the wall or the, like have it stand up? How do you mount it to the wall? I don't know. Well, it's white. You are a crazy lady. Here, you wanna put your glasses on? You wanna put glasses on? You have a demand? I imagine you would. <laughs> the magnetic. Ooh, that's fancy. Let me show it again. Super fancy. Fancy. Wanna give Calvin a kiss? Give Calvin a kiss, baby. Mmm, toddlers. Do what they want. You got your hands full? Can you show them your kitchen? Can you show them your kitchen. Come here. You are being wild, girl. Why are you so pretty? You got your horsey and Snow White and your two lambs. Yeah? Tell them. Tell them, girl. What do you want to tell them? So the camera we had before was uh, 
my summer infant and like I said we did not like it we had issues with the monitor like holding a charge and it wouldn't work unless it was plugged in so I'm excited to switch to the nest the only thing is when I go in your crib <laughs> What was the one thing I didn't like about the nest? That we couldn't put both of them on the same screen. Well, we did find out that because we're gonna have two monitors with the kids that you can't do like a split screen. You'll just have to switch back and forth. And you can make like an alert on your phone though, right? Like if it detects sound. I don't know, it's gonna be trial and error, so we'll figure it out. Does it look pretty easy? Yeah, it's not hard. She just wants to play in our crib lately. She was playing in it when I put her in there. What do you have? Oh, your, your favorites. Oh, we got Sully, Lammy, Sully, Sully. Oh, okay, you can put him it's over It's pretty there. easy. All you do is open the Nest app and add the camera. It's done in like two seconds. For some reason, the Nest app like kicked me off. So we have to reset it, which hopefully it isn't that big of a, a deal. It be a big deal. But yeah, you just have like the Nest app and we'll show you like once it's all set up what it looks like with our doorbell and um, the thermostat. If you're not familiar, we love the thermostat because we can control it when we're not home. Like if we're traveling, when we go back to Michigan, we can change the temperature of the house and save some money. Because when we left, the house got down to like what, 57 or something? And we didn't realize it. So cut costs there a little bit. <clears throat> and it's nice too because I stay at home during the week and we get packages and like random solicitors and things like that. I can see who's at the door with the Nest doorbell camera. You got boogies on your crib, girl. You look like you're in baby gel with your black and white striped t-shirt. Very busy. So you can see the app right here. I'll rename this to Peyton's bedroom or whatever, but then you got our front door. Uh, we had an outdoor camera. We just never hooked it up at this house. We will at the new house. And I then forgot about that. The thermostat tells you. Do you think we could put the outdoor camera on the back of the house or the front? The back. We already have a camera in the front. So I guess we'll see. So now I just have to mount the actual physical hardware. So. And does it look easy? It's not on that. It's on the oh. other part. Which usually involves a lot of cursing, so this is a family channel. I recommend that you don't record that. <laughs> or I can bleep you out. But yeah, when Jeff and I first met, <clears throat> he's gotten a lot better. He used to have a temper when he was putting assembling anything or like hanging anything on the walls, but he's gotten a lot better. So I'm not. Eden's little chair will support me. Yeah, it's made out of wood. All right, so Peyton had a meltdown. Taylor's on the couch watching Trolls with her right now. If you haven't seen Trolls, Trolls is really good. Um, but here is the new baby camera. We have to get a new command hook because the, this just isn't going to cut it for us. We're going to find a better way to hide the wire. But anyway, I can show you on the phone what it looks like before I have it all hooked up on the home. But here's what it looks like now. So you can see the whole crib. It's pretty clear. Um, and now I'm going to work on the Google Home Hub. So we'll go install that real quick, and then I'll work on the nursery after that. Let's come into the kitchen and start with this. As I said, Peyton's meltdown is being <laughs> controlled by mom and trolls. Trolls like crack for Peyton. Trolls and the Grinch. All right, so I'm gonna set this up, and we'll start on the Google Hub. Trolls has a sweet soundtrack. Hair up. Baby monitor, essentially. No <laughs> troll left behind! Yeah, raise your hand, that's right. Here, when we do the no troll left behind, she goes, I mean no troll left behind. Everybody, united, whoa. Meltdown oh, seems to be over. <laughs> Tap anywhere on the screen. Now that we've talked see about swiping, I let's look at some in. things you can see on your screen. To check out your day, tap anywhere on the screen. Throughout the day, I'll have new things here for Peyton you. Peyton just went down for a nap because she was being crazy lady. So we can test out our new Nest camera. Her room is all set up. I'll watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here? Just loving this moment 
with Kelvin and um, let's just say we didn't have the most pleasant experience <coughs> with setting up the Nest cameras. Okay, okay, hold on. Before this comes off like it's a negative thing for Nest camera, it was 100% self-inflicted issues. My fault, my fault. Anyways, so yeah, it took us like what, three hours to fix my phone? on and yeah. off the phone with customer service, on and off the phone with his cousin who's an IT. It was just a total S show, basically. I got frustrated, which normally I'm the one with like the longer patience. Patience. Maybe, let me put it this way. If you have other NAS cameras or products, or these are your first ones, if you just follow the step-by-step, -step, it'll be super easy. But I jump ahead and don't always listen to directions. And I might have screwed it up a little bit and it took us a long time to back out of the problem. But it was, it, it's great, it works great right now, exactly as advertised, the picture is great. We like it now. Well, and part of the issue was too, like since we originally got our Nest equipment, like by original, I mean the thermostat and the doorbell, they then added Google Home. So there was a little confusion between what app we were supposed to be using, but I'm just gonna stop rambling. Point is, we got frustrated and we ended up fixing it, but uh, we're on the way to the new house so that I can record our unfinished house tour. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and stick around so you don't miss out on that content and video. Uh, I think that's it, right? As far as I know. And then we're gonna enjoy date night. Date night. Date night? <laughs> we're having dates? I like dates. Dates are so good. But I need a drink pronto. A red wine night. Yeah, something. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.